The one they call Diesel. The big Aristotle. Shaktis or the big Shamrock? Call them what you want. There are a few faces more recognizable than that of Shaquille O'Neal. And when the big man's in the room, well, it's bound to be a good time. We now say hello to the man who requires no introduction, but deserves one nonetheless. The four-time NBA champion, three-time finals MVP, a league MVP, 15-time All-Star, Hall of Fame inductee, a jersey that hangs in the rafters from coast to coast, and folks, we're just scratching the surface. Shaquille O'Neal joining us on HQ. Diesel, we can't thank you enough for stopping by. I just want to say, Joe, I miss you so much. You miss uh, me. I love talking to you. That beautiful smile, that beautiful suit you always wear, that beautiful tan. <laughs> Love you, Joe. You buttered me up right off the bat here, Diesel. What are we supposed to do? Before we get into it here, because I do have some questions, let's play some bills. Uh, you're joining us on behalf of the sixth annual Celebrity Crunch Classic. Coach Diesel facing off with Coach Breeze. And I think I heard you say Coach Diesel came away with the W. Tell us about what you guys got going down uh, in New Orleans. Yeah, this is my uh, sixth year doing this annual event. It's Team Cheezer versus Team Pringles. Uh, Coach Drew was at Coach Pringles, and I'm Team Cheezer. And it's actually my first time winning it. But I'm glad I did it against the great Drew Brees. That's all that matters. I came in New Orleans and I spanked Drew Brees. That's all I needed right now. <laughs> it, was a, it was a home game for Drew and he still couldn't get one because W's, it's what we do, Diesel. Uh, do, yes, you do have uh, to get to some news elements here. Uh, your impact, it spans the globe, but those seeds were planted not far from where you're sitting right now. Let's, let's stay down in the bayou for a moment. Kansas, North Carolina, set to square off, hats and t-shirts on the line Monday night. Initial feel for this one. Vegas is positioning Kansas as a four and a half point favorite. Do you see it similarly? Or are you riding here with the heels? I don't have a dog in the fight, so I can I, I, I can really care less. I wish you know LSU or uh, you know another SEC school would have made it. But since since you're always professional with me, I'm professional with you. Uh, Kenny Smith, I don't like him, so I don't want North Carolina to win, so I'm going with Kansas. I was going to say, you can't give Kenny can't give Kenny the ammunition here. You're going to have to hear it all no. week long. Uh, exactly, exactly. We, we've he heard the story before about North Carolina, your recruiting trip there. Did Coach K ever make a call? Were, were the Dukies ever on your list or no? No, uh, I wasn't uh, smart enough to get into Duke, but, you know, they never called. Uh, North Carolina called, NC State called, but. You know where I had to go, baby. Dale Brown, Bayou. That's it. Bayou country. That's it. Well, plenty to sink our teeth into here at the professional level as well. Eastern Conference seating here to get sorted out over the next week plus. Bottom of the West also provides plenty of intrigue. I mean, it's the young and the defenseless right now out there, Diesel. Which of these soap opera storylines is best equipped to make a title run in your eyes? The strangest storyline is the Brooklyn Nets playing in the playing game. And the Lakers possibly playing in a playing game. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a very strange year. Uh, the East is wide open, you know, especially if uh, Brooklyn don't get out that playing game. The East is wide open, and, and believe it or not, the West is wide open. So, you know, I, I would like to see the the Lakers and, and the Nets win a playoff game, and then see how far they can go. Well, we always enjoy listening to you break it down. Uh, it is a star-driven league, and it's got to warm your heart right now that the bigs are at the forefront, again, dominating the MVP conversation. What are your feelings regarding the evolution of the big man over the last half decade here, and who's got your MVP vote with about a week to play? Well, well they are playing well. Still playing a little too perimeter for me, but I guess this is the evolution or de-evolution of the game. <laughs> but I wish them all well. Uh, Joker. Great player. Uh, let's see, Embiid's great player. Uh, Cat's great player. I can't wait for our guy to uh, uh, get back on the court. You know, I know he got injured this year, but I can't wait to see what you know Zion does. You know, especially next year. No doubt. Uh, could I, could any of them see prime prime Aristotle or? Of course not. <laughs> I just had to lay it out in front of no. you, Jack. I just try and put it on a tee. Never. Right? You know, Phil. Of course Phil not. Yeah, of course not. Never. I don't think so. Hell no. <laughs> well, few have been built for that type of banging uh, with three, four in purple and yellow, let's say. Those Lakers, they're staring off into the abyss right now. Plenty needs to change in the offseason. I'm putting you in the GM chair. What's the first move you're making? we got to get rid of expiring contracts. we got to get rid of the projects that didn't work. And we got to try to get younger and more athletic around LeBron. Because paper-wise, when everybody did the deal, it was like, ooh, Westbrook, ooh, this, that. But, you know, age, age is a factor. Uh, you know, AD was hurt all year. Uh, I think he played last night. But 
got to keep him healthy. So we still keep LeBron and AD, and we probably got to, you know, make moves, you know, for everybody else. All right, well, you don't get an entertainer of this caliber on your air and you not have some fun. So, Shaq, let's let our hair down just for a moment here. Let's take this thing off the rails a bit and have some fun. Start one, sit one, cut one. Orlando Shaq, L.A. Shaq, Miami Shaq. I would cut the Miami Shaq because he was because he, he was older. And I would start uh, the I would start the no I would cut the Miami Shaq, start the Orlando Shaq, and then have the Lakers Shaq come off the bench. Wow. Okay. So yeah, Lakers Shaq getting an extra breather there. Young Diesel coming out there, starting things up. That's a hard lineup. That's a hard lineup. Let's talk yes, lineup for a second here. The Shaq family, it spans 170 different teammates over your career. Give me the all Shaq squad, a starting five, your favorite, and a sixth man uh, to stand next to there. Obviously, you play in the five. In the other way. Kobe at the two. D-Wade at the three. LeBron at the four. And me at the five. And Amari Stoudemire coming off the bench. That's tough. That's 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 a tough one. No, as well. no, no. I'm trading. I'm trading Amari Stoudemire for Kevin Garnett. Okay, I, I was gonna say a, a last second transaction there. Got to get KG in it because that phone would be ringing. That phone would be ringing tonight if you didn't get KG in that lineup, Jack. Are you married, Joe? Uh, I'm uh, soon to be engaged. Okay, because I, I because I have a beautiful, gorgeous lady. That I was gonna hook you up. <laughs> Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Let's let's have a couple. Uh, let's have a little bit more fun here. Keep this thing rolling. Uh, always at the center of the party is DJ Diesel coming to a city near you. If you had to choose one artist to collaborate with on a hit single, who would it be? I have a very interesting discography. So everybody who I've ever wanted to collaborate with, I have. But I would love to do something with Taylor Swift. Ah, no, okay. No, Kelly Clarkson. Since you've been gone. There it is. <laughs> yeah. I can't, yeah. We'll go, we'll go. Uh -huh. That's, that's going to be in the next set. I know you're mixing it a little, Kelly. I had you tabbed, I had you tabbed for, uh, for Dua Lipa. I had a little Dua Lipa out there for you. You know, oh, yeah, okay, Grammys okay. coming down the pipe here. We're trying to get you some more awards here, right. Diesel. Uh, let's talk about some on-court stuff here because I know you've credited the legs up dunk in the past to, to Ronnie Cycli. And I didn't know if you know, but he's also a DJ. I, I don't know if there's any collaboration to be had there, yes. but did you ever apologize to Chris Dudley here is the question. Never, and I never will. <laughs> uh, you made that, made, made that man a punchline. I mean, you Google him, just Google him. It's the first picture that comes up here. Here, we're taking a look at it now. It's, it's everything you want more, and it never gets old. You know what? That play was nuts. Oh, okay. I see, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, just a, a, a true professional. A true professional. Yes. Uh, let's keep talking yes. dunks here because the dunk contest is not what it used to be. But oh. let's throw it back to camcorder Shaq because I think we also have uh, some footage here of Diesel, uh, man in the camera, iconic stuff, Oracle Arena. And I know what you're going to um, look. This, okay, this is, new, this is new camcorder Shaq. This was a couple years back, but back in that, yes. uh, I believe, 2000 dunk contest we're seeing side by side here. There he is. That's a pop culture moment right there. Does that footage still exist? Off that camera? You know what? You're like the hundredth guy to ask me. I, I have no <laughs> idea where that camera's at. I have no idea where that camera's at. Uh, that should be in the Smithsonian is, is where that should be. Yeah. Let's rattle a few off here. Better place to be a pro, L.A. or Miami? L.A. L.A., okay. Uh, was, it, was it just timing, point in your career? No, was what it, was it? No, it's just that, like, when you look in the stands and you see the guys that you mm. watch on TV as fans, you know, oh my, like I used to, even though I'm Shaq, I spill, oh my God, that's, that's Jack Nicholson. <laughs> is that Adam Sandler? Is that Denzel? Oh my God, is that Holly? Like I just, I used to see all the stars. I was like, for, like these people came to see me and Kobe and the Lakers. So I devised, I said, you know what? I'm gonna give them the same enjoyment that mm. they give me when I'm not playing. So I mean, cause that's what I did to, get my mind away from basketball is just watch movies. The best part is, is they would show up for tip as well. You might see those stars around the third quarter in the 305 yes. diesel. Uh, yes. From doctor to police officer, DJ, a man of many talents here. Your favorite alter ego? My favorite alter ego is Shaquille O'Neal, matchmaker. Okay. 
Okay, we're, we're going back to the matchmaker. You're going to get me in some trouble here, Shaq, but I, I'm listening. No, I, I, I'm, I hear you. I hear you. Never do that. Uh, my and for all the people, <laughs> uh, listen, for all the people dating online, watch the Tinder swindler. There you you go. seen that on Netflix? I have. I have seen that. Oh, uh, yeah. Watch, watch that. And be careful out there, picking and choosing. Uh, Shaq, I, I do have to send you a, a note right now. I need forty thousand dollars by tonight. Okay, that's I need I need forty off of you. There. Damn. <laughs> I know he always keeps <laughs> it on him. I know he always keeps it on him. Damn. Let, let's talk money here, because I grew up on cribs. The Shaq episode, it's burned into my memory. Is there an item from that house that's still proudly displayed in your current home? Yes, the the bed. The Superman no, bed. Oh, I was hoping you'd say yes, the Superman yes. bed. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, I actually just sold that house a couple weeks ago, and they didn't want the bed. I was like, oh, okay, I'll take it. But, uh, uh, again, I'm, I'm here in New Orleans on behalf of Cheese and the Pringles, and love talking to you today, brother, and look, look forward to taking your money. I uh, bet 20 on Kansas. Who you got, North Carolina? You're ta I'm taking the points with North Carolina. They've been t Defense. The defense has impressed me, Shaq. I, I do have to say that. Before we go here, you know, you've really, you've really stirred some thoughts in my mind. I know you take countless pictures a day. What's the last person, or who is the last person you asked for a picture with? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Okay. At the All-Star game, the... Uh... The uh, top 75 NBA players, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Uh, Kareem obviously going to be in the news here uh, soon. LeBron is continuing to climb that all-time leading scoring list. It's going to be a beautiful moment. Um, how do you really situate that in your head when you're thinking about the history of this beautiful league, as we saw at the All-Star game with the celebration of those 75-plus players? For me, it's a professional jealousy. Mm. I'm going to be honest with you. I wanted to... I was, I was trying to pass up Will Chamberlain because after, if I would have passed up Will Chamberlain, I would have arrogantly said, I'm the most dominant big man ever. I don't want to hear nobody else's name. Now I have to hear there were two most dominant players who ever played a game. I could live with that, but, you know, for him to pass up Kareem and possibly be named as the greatest player ever, it's a little professional jealousy, but I wish him well. Uh, they all take those well wishes. Last one here for you, Diesel. We know you're a man in high demand. Lastly, I want to peek into the business mind of Shaquille O'Neal. No better pitch man in the game. You've long said you only invest in things you believe in. I want you to believe in me. If we were to go in on a venture together, hypothetically speaking, where do you see our success, Shaq? Well, they just shut down Maury Povich, so there's a slot for us. <laughs> and the Joe Musso show. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Shaq? Yeah, the Joe Musso show. You're leading the charge, and I'm right there behind you, uh, Joe Musso. Oh, you are, brother. You are not the father. Uh, one of a kind doesn't even <laughs> begin to tell the story, Shaq. Can't thank you enough for stopping by, pal. All right, thank you, Joe. I'll talk to you soon. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.